Okay, so XRP, we're going to talk about XRP in today's video, guys. The latest updates on the Ripple SEC lawsuit and also my updated price predictions for XRP by the end of this year and also take a sneak peek into what 2022 can bring for XRP's price and also for the Ripple Labs uh, company and the adoption for it as well worldwide and where we're going to be headed for CBDCs and many other things involved in uh, XRP and the token itself because it's a very interesting project. It's something that I hold dearly to myself. We haven't given much uh, love to XRP in terms of our content recently and that's because there hasn't been that much updates with the Ripple SEC lawsuits. But if you look at the longer term perspective here, guys, it's looking very, very interesting. My name is Tom. This is Crypto Busy. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today to, again, see more videos like this. Now, let's have a look at what's happening with this. Now, the first thing here is that Ripple case with the SEC likely to reach a conclusion in 2022, says the CEO, Brad Garlinghouse. Now, we all love Brad Garlinghouse at the end of the day. Um, you know, I've been a follower of Ripple Labs. I've been a, uh, an investor of XRP since 2017 and uh, haven't sold since. Um, you know, it's one of my largest holdings when it comes to uh, crypto. And, um, you know, I, I'm a big believer in what XRP is trying to achieve, what Ripple Labs are trying to achieve um, by global adoption and also trying to bring the banking industry, the banking sector, and then also the CBDCs into the 21st century. Because right now, uh, with the financial sector and also the banking sector, whatever you like to call it, um, they're working in the, like, the 1970s, 1980s technology with this SWIFT stuff. And this SWIFT, you know, it's very analog. It's very old. It's slow. It's clunky. Whereas XRP, it's new. It's fast. It's you know straight into the 21st century and also beyond. So they're trying to solve a lot of issues. You know, at the moment, you, you know, if you want to transfer money from one place to the other, it takes time. And again, it's slow. With XRP, it is very, very quick. And governments and institutions across the world see this. They realize this apart from the United States. And that is where the SEC comes into this as well. And that is where they think, OK, XRP, it's a security. It's not a security, it's a cryptocurrency. A currency, it's not a security. A cryptocurrency is therefore not a security. So case is already solved, it is closed. But understandably, there is ego here. There is also, um, you know, trying to protect investors. That's what the SEC tried to say. That's what they tried to do. But at the end of the day, I don't think this has really been the case. They ultimately tanked the price of XRP, which didn't protect investors. And also for that, the whole of this year, um, this has been dominating the case for XRP. And it also importantly, has been price suppression for XRP. Right now, on the day of recording, XRP's price is at 82 cents. Now, it has been at $1.40. Now, we'll go into the technical analysis later on in today's video. But again, it has been suppressed. The price of XRP has been suppressed throughout 2020 because, and also 2021, because of the uh, SEC lawsuit. This is negative towards the XRP's price. And I do think a settlement, a swift settlement, so to speak, will be positive for XRP's price in the near future. And I do think 2022 will certainly be the year because this has been going on for too long. And I think people want to move on as well. Um, so regardless of whether you think it may take time to solve these cases, I think you know Ripple Labs, they want to continue with their business. They're seeing adoption worldwide as well. And um, they're trying to get relisted onto different exchanges. Coinbase, for example, Kraken in the US, also Binance US as well, OKCoin, Bittrex. These are many exchanges that have, you know, billions of dollars of liquidity ready to go for XRP's price, but they can't uh, list it at the moment because they're worried about getting sued by the SEC as well. But the SEC have already stated that if, um, you know, any of these exchanges relist XRP, they don't get uh, sued or they don't get into any legal trouble. So why haven't they already done so already they know coinbase know binance us know that once they do list or relist xrp they know that they will be um, putting in a lot of good price action for xrp's price and so there's clearly some insider stuff going on there as well so you want to do it in the best way possible for uh for it to be equal chance for everybody to, to get involved on the xrp um, you know xrp's price pump when inevitably that will happen in my opinion do comment down below all your thoughts and opinions we're going to go through in today's video all, qu all questions all comments are very much welcome and again if you like this video make sure to leave a like and also feedback is very much welcome as well so looking at XRP's price, currently trading at 82 cents. This will affect, um, it will change daily, of course. Um, but right now, the recent swing high is $1.40. That is the recent area 
of resistance for XRP's price. I think a sort of an overall area of support on a sort of very, very long time frame is the 50 cent region. I'll be picking up a lot of XRP um, if it does touch that area again. It could happen at this point because again of Bitcoin's price that has been very volatile recently. That's because of the recent news that we're seeing worldwide at the moment and uh, the countries or different countries and governments response to that case unfolding and things like that. It will be uh, solved very soon and I do think the, the recent data is looking very good for that and I think this will be referred reflected in the S&P 500 and also the FTSE 100, um, but also in the crypto market as well. So that's also important to note. So I think a, a, a pump is certainly uh, deserved. I think the bears are certainly exhausted at the moment, uh, very much exhausted. I think they have been having their day recently when it comes to uh, XRP's price and also with Bitcoin's price as well, which does affect the rest of the market. But I do think in terms of an end of year pump, it's certainly still possible even on uh, the day of release of this video, which is around sort of the 9th to the 11th of December. And I think by the end of, the end of this year, we could be seeing XRP go um, to uh, you know back above a dollar in my opinion. Now, regards to 2022, I think XRP's price could go higher than that. I think it can go to new all-time highs. I think uh, 2022 will be the year of a new all-time high for XRP. If you've looked at what's happened with XRP's price over the year and you compare it to what's happened also with um, uh, you know, other cryptocurrencies that are out there, it's interesting to see because at the end of the day, uh, it is the only cryptocurrency within the top 20, top 30, nearly in the top 50 that hasn't reached a new all time high. And again, if you look at here, the $1.40 is the recent swing high. And also if it goes down to 50 cents and I will be picking up some more. But right now, um, you know, it's a lot of volatility at the moment. But I do think 2022 will be the year of uh, XRP's new all time high. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you not? All comments are very much welcome. Let's have a look at the top three price prediction for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and also Ripple. Let's scroll down to XRP because that's what this is on for today. Um, it, today at the moment in this article, it's saying that uh, it's sort of an, um, in the short term here, um, it's looking in the four hour candle that the 95 cent is going to be the recent uh, area of resistance. Um, and then also uh, for that as well, a 76 uh, cent of support for XRP. I think ultimately, um, yes, the $1 region, the 95 cent to $1 region will be an area of resistance, not only technically, but also fundamentally as well. When you think about it, the psychological resistance for XRP, $1, it will be one of those things that's reported out there. XRP is back above a dollar. So these sort of key levels that we talk about on our course, which you can um, also join today in the link in the description below. Um, we talk about psychological levels. We talk about smart money concepts as well. And many other things involved in trading cryptocurrencies, including XRP. Um, so with that as well, um, those, those price predictions for XRP, I think, you know, a $1 by the end of this month, by the end of this year is certainly possible. I think it's certainly feasible. And if we do see a bit of a, a better pump to that as well, $1.50 is certainly on the cards by the end of this year, by the end of this month, of course. And then going into 2022, if you take into account volatile action, we could be seeing XRP's price go up, you know, around sort of $10 because of the SEC case. This is, again, hugely suppressing XRP's price, and it will be significant not only for XRP, but also for Bitcoin as well. So do take that into, into account when it comes to your XRP trading. Also take into account what will happen and what this uh, case will affect the rest of the markets. And in my opinion, it will. I've been saying this since day dots. This is not only a case for XRP, it is also a case for Bitcoin and also Ethereum. So take that into account as well guys another thing as well is xrp consolidates below a dollar as balls attempting to regroup and that is another thing as well i still remain bullish on xrp and where it could go and again do comment down below whether you think this is going to happen or not and also if you want to get a much clearer picture of what's happening in the market and get that competitive edge that you thoroughly deserve be sure to join our crypto busy vrp coin calls on there it is ran by two people dfl and also fit so they go through uh, the market every single day they give fundamental and also central analysis what's happening in the market and also some latest new updates 24 7 so make sure to join that guys you get great benefits on there especially with the gold tier you get a road to 100 x portfolio and also low cap gem research plus a lot more on terms of portfolio insights and also priority inbox support and many other things that's happening there for that as well so in terms of conclusions for this video guys a dip into 2022 i think it will be a solving case for xrp i think xrp ripple labs will win this case um you know whereabouts in 2022 i think q1 early q2 is certainly sort 
sort of the upper end of what that prediction there in terms of the timescale prediction. But again, at the moment, the fact that it's very quiet in terms of this Ripple SEC lawsuit is a good thing. There's clearly some talks going on behind the scenes. And in my opinion, it will most likely be settled fairly soon. And we just have to you know, sit tight, stay patient. You, you know, if you've been in this game for over a year, you can wait a bit longer. I've been in it since 2017, so you can wait a bit longer as well. Um, and again, all the articles that go through into today's video, I'll leave links down in the description below, of course. But you just have to bear that in mind. You know, one dollar is certainly going to be the next area of resistance, and then also to that as well, twenty twenty two, ten dollars is certainly looking likely um, at the moment. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. All comments are very much welcome. Um, that's it for me in today's video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to like and also subscribe. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.